Have you ever wondered how people create this amazing looking effect when a text is behind a certain object or a person? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can also recreate this text behind object effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's pretty simple, so stick along and uh, let's learn how to do this together. So I'm going to show you um, two examples, actually. The first one is going to be uh, this one, right? Which is pretty simple to do and straightforward where you can kind of make this almost like text reveal effect, or you could just block out a certain part of the text with something that's, you know, in front of it. I will show you how to create this. And I will also show you another method, which is uh, a lot faster and easier to do, but it only works when you have like a lot of contrast between kind of like your foreground in this case and the background. It will work very well with stuff like silhouette shots and things like that, but not it won't work on everything. So the first method, which is uh, the universal one, here's how it works. So first of all, you obviously want to have uh, a clip that kind of uh, has some movement in it. You could even have something where something, you know, crosses your uh, screen as you are recording it kind of just something that you can create the illusion of that the text is actually behind. So I just have this uh, simple drone shot uh, that was shot in Dubai. And uh, you can see I have this big skyscraper there. And I just want to put my text behind that. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously add a uh, text to this part of the screen. So just uh, come to the text tool or press T on your keyboard and then add the text that you want to add. So in this case, I'm just going to write there Dubai and I'm going to use Montserrat black as my font and I'm going to change uh, the color to white. And in terms of positioning as well, you want to make sure that you position your text in a way where the object that you want to have uh, kind of in front of it blocks out certain parts of the text. And also this effect will work with any other images as well, or even other videos. So you can be creative with this uh, masking effect. You want to make sure it covers your entire footage. And then the next thing we are going to do is select our text layer and uh, you want to have it on top of your video track. Okay. And then once you have that, you will come here to opacity. And then here at opacity, you want to click on this, either the free draw Bezier or uh, if you are putting, for example, text behind a person's face, you can also use the ellipse mask, or if it's like some sort of a rectangular object or something like that, you can use the four point polygon mask as well. I usually just use the free draw Bezier mask for this. And then you want to uh, really just like zoom in on your screen a bit more. So I'm going to do like 150%. And after that, you want to draw a mask around your uh, building or whatever the building is in your uh, case, right? So whatever the foreground you want to be that covers up your text for a certain part. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, draw a basic very, very simple mask around it. And you want to make sure that the mask is very accurate at the parts where you have the edges of the certain object that is covering your text and the rest of it can be pre pretty rough. Actually for this, I could have even just used the four point polygon mask, but I just prefer using the, the pen tool one usually. Next up, you can see that it kind of did like the opposite of what we wanted it to do. So what you want to do now is you want to click here uh, at the mask on inverted. And now you can see it's covering the right part that we want to cover. Here you also have the mask feather. And uh, this is just going to, again, adjust the feathering of the mask. In this case, I'm going to leave it at a very low number of like two to uh, percent, right? Or two points. The next thing you want to do is you want to animate this mask. And the way you are going to do that is by using keyframes. Keyframes basically, again, allow you to animate a certain property uh, over time. So I will show you how it works. It's a lot less complicated than it sounds. Right now, if I play it, you can see it doesn't uh, follow the building, right? It just, the mask just stays in one place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the start of this clip. I will click here on mask path, uh, toggle animation. All right. And now I want to make sure that I lay up um, the mask perfectly with the building. So if you want to open your mask, just click on there. And then you can actually like drag it uh, to make sure that it aligns with whatever you need to align it with perfectly. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the right a few frames uh, until there is some movement on your screen. And then you want to come back to the mask and adjust it to make sure it's on the right place again. You are going to just repeat this. So again, come back to your timeline, skip some frames, come back to your mask and adjust it 
to uh, fit your thing. It's a pretty boring thing to do, but this is like the most accurate way you can do it. Just come back to the mask, readjust it again. I'm going to speed this part up so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. All right, so I'm basically done. Keep in mind, the more precise you are with adjusting the mask, like a lot of different times, like after every few, every uh, other frame or so, and the more precise you are also with the way you create the mask around the certain objects edges, the better it's actually going to look. So now if I come back to the regular view and I watch this back, you can see that now I created this uh, revealing effect and it makes it seem like the text is basically like coming out from behind this building. I think that's pretty cool. And you can do this with, again, any kind of object. The masking uh, animation works the exact same way. Let me show you another example that you can do with the silhouette. And uh, this is pretty cool because this one is way more effortless. So let's just say you have a clip like this, okay? And then you go ahead and you add another text to it, right? So whatever you want to add there as text. And uh, I'm going to align it here in the middle. With this kind of uh, method, you want to add some sort of a color to your text as well. For example, let's say I want to add this uh, yellowish one. And then what we are going to do next is we are going to come here to opacity again and come here to the blend mode. If you go and play around with these blend modes, you can see that, for example, with this darkened one, it actually blends these two um, together and kind of creates this similar looking effect. With this color, it made it very um, like hard to see. But if I adjust my uh, fill, you can see it will be more visible on certain colors. So for example, if I watch this back now, again, you can see this blends these two together pretty effortlessly. You can go ahead and play around with these blend modes as well. Usually you will either use like the darken, you know, the color uh, burn can work as well. But uh, yeah, just play around with these and uh, you can create again, these different blend uh, options and create some very cool text effects with this as well. Even with patterns or stuff like that, the blend modes can create some very interesting looks. Hope this quick tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.